On today's episode of The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully, we will be looking at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.2.2, and there's some special information I need to give you if you're a Mac user updating this new version. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. It is time for the weekly update for Topaz Photo AI. This is not a real big update. There's a couple things that I want to point out, a couple little changes here. Also, if you're a Mac user, you don't want to update this product like you normally do. There's a special way you have to update it this time for this update, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Mac users, when you go and click on the new update button, this dialog box comes up and it says here, if you have version 1.2.1, do not click the update button on the top right as it will not work. That's this button right here. Click full release notes and download the full installer to update and you'll click this link right here and it'll take you to the full release notes. And you'll come to this web page. What you want to do is click the Mac download full installer. It's this link right here. Click on that. That'll download the uh, full installer. After it downloads, just double click on that installer and follow the instructions and you will be good to go. Now here are the changes since 1.2.1. I want to take a look at the face recovery. They changed the value to 80 instead of 100, which is a better starting point. And I'll also give you some tips on that face recovery slider as well. Also, remember last week when I showed you the new crop tool where you can center in on your crop? Well, they changed that. Now they've locked the position of opposing sides when moving crop handles. I don't know why they changed it, but they did change it, and I'll show you how that works. So let's jump right in. Hey, by the way, if you don't own any of the Topaz products, you want to get Topaz Photo AI or any of the other products like Gigapixel Sharpen AI and Denoise AI, just click on my affiliate link in the description right below this video. It'll take you there. When you use my affiliate links when you purchase products, I make a small commission, and that helps me to keep tutorials coming your way. And when you do that, I really appreciate it, and thank you very much. All right, let's start out with uh, Recover Faces. Let me click on Recover Faces, and you can see it's detected three faces. But here's the difference now. See the slider here? It defaults at 80 instead of being up to 100% when you open up Topaz Photo AI. Now, I find with the Recover Faces slider, this is a slider you really got to pay close attention to because if it's up at 100%, a lot of times it'll mess up the hair. And what I mean is if you notice the hair on this girl right here, if I shut off Recover Faces, see how you can see the nice sharpened strands of hair? Because face recovery, what it does is it'll soften up the face a little bit. It won't get over sharp, but it if it defaults at 100, which it used to, it was really overdone. Let me turn it back on. And right now the slider's at 100. Now, here's my little tip for you. Now, remember, it defaults at 80 now, which is right here, which I think is still a little bit overdone. So a lot of times I find that you have to kind of really bring this back. And what I like to do is kind of look at the hair and see what it looks like. See, even 30 is a little bit too much for this image. I'm going to bring it back to about 16. And now you can see the hair strands look nice and natural. And the face has just a slight softening to it, which is what face recovery is all about. It really helps out the faces so they don't get over sharpened and you don't bring out all the, you know, the blemishes. You don't over sharpen and over process them. But take care with this slider here. So play with it and make the face look natural. If it looks over soft, then that's not a good thing. Also notice, see where it says three faces selected? If you click on select, if you don't want to recover all of the faces, you can shut a face off just by clicking on it. Say, for instance, if I don't want her face recovered or the middle girl's face recovered and only this face, I can choose it or we can choose all three. You can also click on select none, no face will be selected, or you can click on select all, and then all of the faces will be selected. In this case, I want them all, I'll just click done. And then finally, let's look at the crop tool. So let's click on crop. 
And remember last week when I would drag down on here, it would kind of center to the center of the image. And I kind of like that. Let me know in the comment section below if you liked it that way because they changed it. All right. So I'm on the original aspect ratio and you know, you can click this drop down and you can choose different aspect ratios or you could use a, like a custom crop, but let's keep it with this crop. I just want to show you how this works. So if I click here and drag down, notice it locks the bottom. The bottom does not change before it was pulling up and in. And I kind of like that. It was kind of nice. So that doesn't work that way anymore. And if I pull in from the right side, it locks to the left side. So that's the difference there. Okay. But say if I wanted a crop in like about like that, and then I could come in here and drag, see the little hand comes up and then you can move it around and reposition it. But that is the way the crop tool now works. I don't know why they changed that, but don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know if you like this new crop better than the centered crop. Who knows, maybe they'll change it back. I don't know why they changed it, as I said. And then all you need to do is click Apply Crop. Well, there it is. This is version 1.2.2. I hope you enjoyed this look at this new update today. If you enjoyed the uh, video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.